So, I just got done watching this game. The Nuggets. I mean, uh, just look at the boys right now. Can you look at them? <laughs> but I just got done watching this game. The Lakers are now going to face off against the Denver Nuggets in the Western Conference Finals. I don't think anybody except Denver fans really expected that this would happen. Number one, they were down three games to one and won the series in back-to-back -back series. Number two, the Clippers are the Los Angeles Clippers. They've got Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Pat Bev, a great defender despite him being so annoying, Lou Williams, Montrez Harrell, they even got Morris, who's a 20-point scorer in New York this season. They just weren't able to produce. And we all thought and all expected they would at least make it to the Western Conference Finals, let alone the NBA Finals. It's not happening. We're seeing a Denver Nuggets versus Los Angeles Lakers Western Conference Finals. So let's talk about it because everybody's going to be talking about the Clippers. Everybody's going to be discussing what really happened, what went wrong. At the end of the day, chemistry is a huge part of any team's success. They didn't have the chemistry, in my opinion. I don't believe they had enough, enough games together during the regular season. I believe Kawhi Leonard just didn't perform when it really counted, which, I mean, 14 points in a Game 7 to end the series out it doesn't look good. PG 13% is his new nickname because he's just played a shocking NBA playoff series. And Lou Williams, his whole saga going out, getting chicken wings in a strip club, and Montrez Harrell, obviously he came and returned to the bubble late. It just, the, the chemistry wasn't there from the start and even throughout the regular season, but in the playoffs it just wasn't there. Also, B-Souls, if anybody, you know, recognize the, uh, the fit right now, I'm just rocking that B-Souls look because... I have to talk to the camera right now. You need to see my facial expressions because this is crazy. Let's talk about the Lakers and the Denver Nuggets. Throughout the regular season, they've matched up four times. The Lakers have won three out of those four. Obviously, the Lakers have LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Those are two pieces that just by themselves fit much better facing off against this Denver Nuggets team. When you look at the difference between the Lakers and the Clippers, the Lakers rely on Anthony Davis as one of their main pieces, and he's a great defender, and he's somebody that can actually guard Nikola Jokic. He's a great defender, and he's also an offensive talent that Jokic has to guard on, on the defensive end, and Jokic's defense is still kind of sus, despite him being unreal and possibly the greatest big man the game has on the offensive end. His assist numbers, incredible. His scoring is incredible. He can hit the outside jumper, the floater, his touch around the rim, great. His rebounding is still great. He's just going to have a tough matchup against Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is good on both ends of the floor. Then you've got Jamal Murray. He's the guy that can really win the game, and he showed that against the Los Angeles Clippers. They couldn't guard him. They have PG-13, a good defender, possibly one of the greatest wing defenders in the game. After, after this playoffs, kind of sus, but he is still a good defender. Kawhi Leonard, an amazing defender. He couldn't even guard Jamal Murray. They tried Pat Bev on Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray is just a great player. He will be one of the greatest point guards the league has in the future, if not next year, the year after. He will be top point guards, top five, top three. He's an incredible talent. This Nuggets team is going to be amazing in the future, especially with MPJ coming up. He's gonna, he's gonna improve on defense and he'll be a great offensive talent as he is right now but obviously just improved. And they've got Bol Bol, who, who knows where he'll be. So this Nuggets team is going to look great in the future, but currently they're facing off the Lakers. And I don't think they'll be able to beat the Lakers simply just because the Lakers are just vastly different from the Clippers. The Clippers have Kawhi Leonard, PG, Morris, all three players are, sh are shooting guards, small forward, power forwards. The Lakers are a far better front court team. They have great front court defense. Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee. But this Lakers front court defense is going to be a tough matchup for this Nuggets team to face off against. In saying that, the Nuggets move the ball so well that the Lakers also have to be very mindful of this movement and actually look to contain what the Nuggets are able to do on the offensive end, which is hard because if you double team Jokic, he will always make the right pass. If you've got Millsap hitting shots, Gary Harris hitting shots, Grant hitting shots, 
The Nuggets are going to be a tough team to face off against, even for this Lakers team who is the first seed in the Western Conference. The interesting thing about the Los Angeles Lakers is that they just got out of a series facing off against the Houston Rockets who run the small ball lineup, which meant that Dwight Howard didn't play really at all, JaVel McGee didn't get many minutes, and they really just ran Anthony Davis and made him the center, LeBron power forward, because they obviously had to compete against the small ball lineup of the Rockets. Now that they're facing off against the Denver Nuggets, who are a lot taller, Jokic is the main focal point of this Nuggets offense, it means that it actually suits the Lakers better, in my opinion. And you look at the difference between the Lakers and the Clippers, the Lakers are much taller than the Los Angeles Clippers. I mean, to put it into perspective, Harold literally is the same height as Paul George. So when you have Harold guarding Jokic, obviously Jokic is going to be able to dominate, he's going to be able to see over the defense, he's going to be able to use his passing skills, feed the open man, he's going to be able to use his touch around the rim and get easy floaters because it's Jokic and he's very smart, he's also a lot taller than Harold, can back him down and he's a great player. But against Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee, will he be able to do that? That's the big question, and I mean, if you take out Jokic out of this Nuggets team, you can sort of eliminate what he does and eliminate his impact on the floor. I can't see the Nuggets winning this series, really. I mean, you've, you've still got to compete against LeBron James and Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. They obviously didn't have the best playoff performance. It's due to the Nuggets playing great defense, but I think they also just couldn't click and couldn't mesh, and the Lakers, they look like they've got a good chemistry going on. In terms of just the LeBron James-Anthony Davis duo, they're going to have to get some other scoring involved, whether, whether that's Rondo, Kuzma, Caruso. There always needs to be that third option for the Lakers, but you just don't know who that is. Whereas the Clippers, you sort of expected it to be Kawhi Leonard, Lou Williams, Paul George. But if Paul George is having an off game and Lou Williams isn't performing and Kawhi Leonard drops 14 points in the last game seven of the series, it's going to be a tough difference between the, the Lakers right now and the Clippers. And... I think the Lakers will actually win this series in six games, but let me know what you believe down below in the comment section. Look, I'm not ruling the Nuggets out. As we've seen these playoffs, anything and truly anything is possible. We're now going to either see the Nuggets or the Lakers in the, in the NBA Finals. Crazy. The Heat and the Celtics in the NBA Finals. We could have a Miami Heat, Denver Nuggets NBA Finals, a Lakers Celtics NBA Finals. It, it's a win-win to me either way. I'm a Heat fan. I'm also, I also love LeBron, and I also love Denver. I'm winning either way. Yes, I would love to see Miami go all the way to the NBA Finals, but if it's LeBron James and the Lakers versus Tatum and the Celtics, a Lakers and Celtics NBA Finals, history repeats itself, and the Lakers versus the Celtics after everything that's gone on this year, especially with, you know, the passing of Kobe, what a story that would be. Then you've got the Nuggets, the underdog team, Miami, another underdog team that both teams you couldn't expect make the NBA Finals this season if you predicted at the start of the year. It's a wonderful season for NBA. Now, obviously, this is off the dome. This is no script writing. But if you'd like me to make a more in-depth video about what I believe the Lakers and the Nuggets will get up to and what will actually happen in the future going into the Western Conference Finals, let me know by commenting down below. And if you enjoy this video off the dome, hit that like button to show your support. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Also, check out the video I uploaded today. A potential trade target in the future for the Miami Heat.